Hey, we're here in uh, Lebanon, Kansas, uh, Smith County. Uh, property for sale here is two and a half acres. There's this Quonset building and there's an old gas station here. Uh, the gas station building is cinder block. Uh, the block structures seem to be in pretty decent shape, but the roof uh, has definitely been compromised and would probably need to be replaced, obviously need to be replaced. You can see daylight here on this backside. Uh, roof is waffling a little bit. Uh, roof over here is not bad. Uh, probably needs some sort of new liner or cover, uh, but it doesn't appear to be um, nearly as bad as the other one. It's the back side of the Quonset building. And the property goes along this fence almost to this pole and then jogs back all the way up to the road over, about over to that house there, all the way back, and then back through. So... No windows on this backside, no doors. <clears throat> Let me show you the building here. There's a good amount of lot space here. Currently, the owners have a local farmer that puts up the grass over here and they just put it up for hay bales. Um, this is the front side of the building. It'd be a great, really cool old service station. Uh, be a great building to fix up. We've got Highway 281 access. And we'll go inside and take a look here. So once you get inside, you can see the roof uh, is gone in several places here. Some of these rafters may be salvageable. Uh, maybe all of them. I'm not entirely sure. This is the back side where you can just see it's open and exposed. And so a lot of this stuff is interior. Uh, as far as like if you were gonna put lifts or anything in here, um, there is a main I-beam that goes right down the building here. Uh, could be used for motor hoists, whatnot. All concrete floor. It is wet in here. We had a rain two days ago, and you can see, uh, obviously, rain getting in here. This, what's falling down is like a subroof of like a, uh, an office that was in here. And then you can see the main roof up top through there. And then you can see where this building here, this doorway that I'll go through, uh, was like, I think the original building and then everything coming towards us <clears throat> in this space here was all an addition that was put on. So, take you over here. There is a basement down there underneath the place. Uh, I don't have a light, so I can't take you down there right now. Add a catch there. You come on this side and you can tell there's not nearly as much uh, you know, a little bit more roof integrity, although it has been compromised. You can see this back wall is waffling. Uh, this is like paneling that got wet. You can see behind it. Um, there's a bathroom here. And then this is what I gather used to be the office. There's a door there, a window <clears throat> that's been frosted over, but you can see through. If you wanted to scrape it off, see through to the other garage part. Just storage in here. You can tell there's some mold and stuff up on the ceiling. Some there too. And then you come into this side over here and it looks like it was a, a living room at one time um, where the people were living here. There's also a bed down in the basement. It looks like somebody was staying down there and kind of another bathroom. Um, very primitive, makeshift, like a, there's a little office uh, in here. And then there's another room here, which is a bathroom, another bathroom. And this bathroom has an outside entrance, so it would have been like the old gas station uh, customer bathroom. So you can go into there, you can access it interior or access it from the outside. It's a side door. And again, just try to give you a little breach about it. 
this floor in here is concrete that I'm standing on. And so the basement is underneath it. Uh, so the basement has a concrete roof. It's almost like a bunker down there. And back door, this goes out to the back. You can see the Quonset building in the foreground there. There's that basement. And back in through to the garage. Right. And that kind of takes us back out here to the road. Like I said, great highway frontage. Um, there's a pole here. Why you think there used to be pumps here? They were uh, the tanks were removed from this property in 1991, I believe. And um, the Kansas Department of Health and Environmental Services (KDHE) uh, has a monitoring program uh, for the like test wells out here. I think they've got nine of them or something like that and they check them four times a year and that's about it